How's it going? Today we're going to be doing a camera comparison a lot of people ask for is the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra versus the Galaxy S22 Ultra. Alright, here's a quick microphone test. Testing 1212. These are the microphones coming out of the S21 Ultra. Testing 1212. These are the microphones coming out of the S22 Ultra. For the camera specs, they are mostly the same. The S22 Ultra does have the new sensor on the ultra wide. And also, there's this new coating, super clear coating on these lenses as well to help reduce the flaring, which I'll be testing that as well. So, right now, I'm heading to Chipotle to try out their new chicken. And then after that, I'm going to the city because I have a meeting there. But I figured for social media part for the videos, future videos, it's going to be sprinkled around throughout the video and most likely I'll be posting or comparing just Instagram versus Instagram because we all know that the stock camera app is going to be better than posting on straight on Instagram. But mostly I'll be using Instagram whenever there's points of time where people will most likely be using Instagram first. So whenever I'm going out to eat, like right now for Chipotle, um, whenever I'm in touristy spots, or whenever when we're hanging out with friends or when we're at social events, that's when I would probably use Instagram versus Instagram, which you'll be seeing. Now let's move on to the portrait mode. I know that on S21 Ultra, they do have a 2x option, which I do like because in those scenarios where you do want to zoom in just a little bit more, it works, especially when you're like indoors because 3x is just too much when you're indoors. It's just too restraining and you do need a lot of room. So I don't know why they took it out on S22 Ultra, but I wish they kept it or hopefully they will add it in a future update. Now I would like to mention that the S22 Ultra is the Exynos version and the S21 Ultra is the Snapdragon version. Now just looking at the screens themselves off the phone, just looking at them side by side, the pictures on the S22 Ultra does look more vibrant. Now I'm not sure if it's the same thing on your end because you're looking at the actual pictures themselves, but let's move on to telephoto.
firing test. All right, here are my thoughts using these two phones today. Let's start off with the camera UI, the camera experience, which is pretty much the same thing since it's the same phone or the same company, the same UI, so there's not much difference there. All right, let's move on to the performance. I did notice a difference. The S21 Ultra did feel a little bit smoother to me, especially when I'm moving back and forth between the main camera app to the Instagram camera app. It, I do notice that it's less laggier, it's a bit smoother, especially when I start to um, record video on it it lags a bit less. And also when I'm saving the stories from Instagram, it processes faster on the S21 Ultra. Maybe it's because of the Exynos chip that is performed slower or worse, but there is a difference between um, doing it side by side. But if you're just using it separately, you guys probably won't even notice. Now it's not crazy slow. It wouldn't ruin your whole experience. But if you're doing it side by side, I do notice the S21 Ultra is faster. One thing I did notice on the S22 Ultra is that when you're in 30x or 100x, it's much more stable and a lot of my shots are easier to shoot versus the S21, it shakes more and it's harder to get the exact shot you want. Although I don't think a lot of people would be around the 100, the 30x to 100 range, but it's just something small, but it is an improvement. Now for battery life, I did start off the day with a full charge on both phones. The Snapdragon S21 Ultra right now is at 63%. The S22 Ultra with the Exynos chip is at 55%. Now on the S21 Ultra, it does have a SIM card in it. And the only thing that's really receiving data is Instagram. So it is receiving something throughout the whole day. Whereas on S22, the Exynos one, there's no SIM card in it. Nothing should be um, drained from internet or Wi-Fi or anything because nothing is really connected to it but yet it still have less battery life. Now, those are the things that really stuck out to me when I'm using these two phones today. And of course, I haven't seen the images yet. Let me know what you guys think. Is it really worth the improvement? So far in terms of just battery life, I don't think so, but the images may change your mind. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.